Well, that's a good good question, Paul Kokoda, uh, who's coming tonight. That's something that we we don't we never know. We're not. No, we we usually don't know. I I had a couple, a few, some people hinted, but um, other than that, um, it, it's uh, we're usually kept in the dark by the producers to keep the spontaneity. So we're as surprised as as everyone. And not every and everyone is uh, all of us. Nice to see you all here tonight at Lounge Academy. My name is Howard, and uh, I'm here with one of my co-hosts, <coughs> who happens to be president of WBIG TV. That's Howard, this hello, is so good. <laughs> I just had some steaming hot loaf, and I'm that is so good. It tastes kind of like choking on it. It really tastes like a croissant. It's really a rich bread. It's nice. It's like a croissant. And I'm uh, addressing these comments to all you uh, rerun watchers because I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody's watching this. Is a... By the way, this is, this is Lounge Academy. My name is Howard. This is Ryan. And yeah, he loves your knowledge. In the lounge with us is uh, Mary, Mary Kunz Goldman, and Paul Kokoda. Will be your hosts this evening. I consider Paul one of the hosts of the show now. He's, here we go. And we have a, a lot of cameras for you tonight. Now it's a, it's, a, it's really the probably the first. Summery Friday night in Buffalo this year in 2019, Ryan? No, it really is. I suppose. We're not counting last Friday. Well, the weather was nice last Friday, too. It seems warmer today, though. Like it is warmer. It's warm. Yeah, this is, I think, the warmest day we've It's had. really ideal lounge weather. <laughs> the air conditioning feels so good, doesn't it? It does. And it's light outside. That's right. You can wild. see. You can see while you're lounging. Oh, look, the tablet uh, it's really the, probably the first. did not give me a hassle. Hopefully, it'll stay that way. Now, now I can see everybody. It's funny on uh, over here. I do not. I'll try hitting refresh, reload. You can see why you're around it. Oh, look, there's there's me. There we go. Now I can see all the lounge cadets. I thought nobody was with us. I thought I was just talking to rerun watchers. But I'm not. I'm talking to to live live real time lounge cadets. Paul heads over to the piano well, to join Ryan Weissars. I identify with like the that is your seat. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, except you'd be sitting, you'd be kept, you'd be sitting in that one, facing that way. Actually, this chair. I'll, uh, I'm going to put this chair over here. You need a reserved sign. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, the, like Green. I chair. wonder if it's still over there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the reserve was reserved side. <laughs> and there was shackles, you know. We could, uh, I can reproduce it. Probably have some photographs of it. <laughs> Shirley Mayer? Yeah, we'll have to do that. Good evening. Barbara Fisher is with us already. We, we got some requests that's, already coming that's in. That's what I used to do for shackle. Well, you'd start the you night? Know, I, I'd have a note. Oh, well, that's great. In my car, and I'd hear songs in my travels. That Tremendous. Down. <laughs> See, now I'm finding out what really went on at those Jocko sessions. Yeah. There's, we held back a couple secrets, you know. Well, I know. <laughs> I always knew Jocko taught me everything I know, but, oh, but he didn't teach me everything he knows. I never quite 
Donna is out there. Hi, Donna. Thank you. We're, we're, we're having a great night. Frank de Cesare, he likes the hat. He says, hi, Mary. Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, that hat you're mentioning, Frank, that's, uh, it says uh, Buffalo on it. That's, that's uh, one, of our, one of our sponsors that makes, really helps make Lounge Academy possible. They do uh, all kinds of mechanical work on your car in, in North Buffalo location. We also have a downtown booth for customer service for Buffalo. And it's located in the same facility as a modern so art gallery the, uh, line up for the and the so Department of Coffee and Donuts. Right. Missy's oh, out there. Really Our own Barry. Watching from that, his private Rice, island, Rice. and our own there, Betty is there. Right, Hi, Betty. Like I'm really impressed I that know, uh, everybody's being so attentive to the beginning of the show, and it's so so beautiful out. You're probably all outside, with the, looking at your painted toenails and twiddling your fingers around your drink umbrellas. That's always a great way to lounge, Melissa. Oh, Betty says hi to all the other lounge cadets. Betty's relaxing at home too, which is great. She's got a real lounge at her house. Disco ball, beanbag chairs, stage. Nice to see Barbara Fisher in the room. Barbara Fisher is at Lounge Academy. Barbara Fisher Barbara Fisher Impossible Yeah, he was big, but Perry Como, he really had his. Doctor, yeah. oh, Dr. It was absolutely it's impossible. Like, Dr. What? Was it something with an A? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. I couldn't make sense of it, but something, yeah, he spelled it for me. So, yes. Betty, so Betty, you got name. your, uh, he's very nice. I love that. Betty got her piano tuned. I gave my piano this one, kind of a 15 minute drive by quick fake tune. Because I remembered at the last minute tonight that uh, the piano needed tuning and that I you know, had not done it. So with my suit on and everything all ready to play at the Statler, I opened the piano up and I just went I just went through and picked out the notes that sounded the most round, you know, the ones that sound a little off. And you know, it really, really made a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. You know how? Oh, yeah. I should have known you. But, but, I mean, it could use, it could use a complete wall-to-wall -wall tuning. But, you know, you can really uh, give them a tweak, and it, it helps a lot. I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, you know, everything's on YouTube now. Yeah. I watched YouTube and learned how to tune pianos. I got a couple books on it too, but I bought those before you YouTube. Bill, you know, <laughs> YouTube gave me my final uh, degree. Well, you watch you watch the tuners, you know, and they um they show they they put up different things about different things. 
you know, so you watch a bunch of them and kind of cross-reference yeah. them. And well, they do kind of at times also. Jacko used to tell me about that. He, he had that one special guy. He was somebody, somebody too. To yeah. I've used him, too. The people were here knew. Hey, what you do, you know? Oh, yeah. I couldn't tell. I never could tell. I'm looking at your chart, right? Well, you know, tuna, tuning the pianos uh, really improved my ear. So, like, now I can... It immediately improved my ear. It really... It's, it's a good thing. Pianists should tune. You know, why, why should piano players be the only people that can't tune their own instrument? Right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, there, there's some... You know, heavy duty maintenance issues that would be above anybody's head, but, but the normal stuff, you should be able to tune it. Well, you know, you could use, um, in the old days, it was all ear, and the, the methodology for um, tuning a piano is very complex. You get all these harmonics and you're counting, you're doing all these different intervals and counting the beats. And it, it was, that's quite a thing. So, but with technology, you know, they came out with electronic piano tuners that were, were pretty expensive not too long ago. But, and if you had one of those, you, you could tune it by that. Now, if you have a good ear, you can then sweeten it up beyond that. But, but it would get the job done, you know, a, a, a fine, right? But now they're, the apps are free with your phone. I just use a phone app as my piano tune. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's great. I, I, used, I used them until I started doing it myself. This piano had some issues where it was... Um, was requiring some frequent tunings for a while, so I, it was like, this is crazy, I gotta just learn to do this myself. I enjoy it though. And then I learned how to do some of the other things too, like shaping the hammers. I took all the hammers out and shaved them and reshaped them. And, yeah, and it really improved the tone. This piano has really improved a lot. Well, that'd be wonderful, Frank De Cesare, and I'd insist that 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 you 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 do that. You'd be the guy. I would have Frank De Cesare along with our own Joe Dinky as part of the process to do the documentary on Lounge Academy. Yeah, boy, those guys would come up with some creative stuff. Tuners and crooners. electric piano he uses at the beach. Too bad, otherwise I was going to say we should invite ourselves over one of these days. But if he doesn't, take the whole. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that it's up. probably a great place though. Oh, yeah. I'd like to welcome Guy out there. Nice to see you, sir. Guy Deveni. Are you, uh, oh, he's off. You're off for the summer, right? You're not driving truck this summer, I believe. So you can, you can lounge your heart's content, we're happy about that. Not that that ever stopped you before. We may be, we may be joined uh, this evening by lounge cadet favorites of Leaf, right? Oh 
yes, she said she was going to be. And, and her friend yeah. Tina. We saw them over at the sailor. They're part of their lounge itinerary for the evening. Well, it sounds so much better after that quick fake tuning. I just tuned like five notes. I just picked out, I go, okay, which five sound a little funky? Really? Yeah, because they oh, just they, just, they, they just start to get here. kind of round sounding. There's a little wide, you know. And uh, it, it's actually the piano is going sharp. So it's not, you know, it's, you'd think they'd go flat, you know, like they don't wind from the tension. But the uh, I think it's the humidity change with the seasons. So there's probably more humidity makes the wood expand which pulled the strings tighter so yeah. that must be it one time uh, we've been doing this for so many years not live we were doing recording lounge academy sessions Barry's out in Angola the water's like glass well from Baltimore, Maryland. Speaking of guys, our, our own uh, guy, Bellary. How's he, how's he coming around? You never know when he drops. He comes in unannounced. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh he's, he's, he's the best, best living lounge sensation, I think, in my opinion. Now there are two 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 alphas. Oh, I, I think you're right. Yeah. But I noticed it, you know, because I like both of them. And I would, They're so much alike, that's yeah. why. This piano players. You know, at least anecdotally, all the lounge sensations that I know, they're they they they're they're, they're kind of um, territorial. Yeah. I mean, I can name a lot of names, but I, I won't because they're so territorial, they'll get mad at me if I... I, I guess it's just part of it, you know? But especially those guys. Yeah. Jocko and, the, you know, at the top of the but, mountain. But, you know, but it was partly Jocko. Back right. Oh no, no, they're both. No, they're both. Right. Yeah, wasn't one of them was. I had them both here once, one night, and and Diane Ernesto was here. Was it like when we first got the building? They wanted to kind of like show it to everybody, and I had the piano set up in the other room on the stage. You you might have been there that that night. You probably were. I could have been. I think George we might. Used to come over after uh, Evie Reese ended. Yeah, not not a not a lot, but but we yeah. did that a few, you know. So the, I I just remember that one time because I don't think that was probably the only time when there was Guy and and and, and Diane was here. Yeah. And uh, so I mean, you had all the personalities there, right? All the big. Big powerful lounge personalities, super talented people, and uh, yeah, Guy and Jocko were kind of nipping at each other's heels, you know. There was In fact, I think Jocko got pissed and wanted to go home at one point. But he may have. Oh, terrific people! Yeah. I don't think there's, you know, it's like you can't have two alpha wolves without something happening, right? Because they have to, 
they have to determine the pecking order, yeah. and and you're never going to resolve that with those two. Yeah. How, how could you possibly? David Mack is watching. Hi, David. Maybe we'll see David Mack in the studio audience. Not the audience, in the studio cadet room. But anyway, here's a song. There was a, there was a night, a dark night, here lounging, and the guy below he was at command at the piano. And it's really distracting when the place is full of people. You know, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to everything the entertainment is doing. When, when, there, when there's a lot of people here and there's a lot of things to do, right, Brian? Right? So that week I was at home or in my office, I was, I was reviewing the video and, and chopping it up and just seeing what we had. I noticed Guy had quietly got up to the piano, kind of shyly, and he just, sometimes, it's hard to believe it, sometimes he's, he's kind of shy until he gets warmed up, sometimes, sometimes he can just come out like gangbusters, but that was one of those nights when, and he's, purpose, he wasn't singing, you know, he didn't, he wanted to just kind of ease in, get into the pool slowly, I thought that was just kind of interesting, because, a guy like him, I mean, that played where Sinatra hung out and in Hollywood. For, he played out there? Yeah, he had a room there for a year in a restaurant, Mar Martocci's, I think it was called. Was that it? One of the old venerable Hollywood clubs. It was a, it was a dinner, dinner place, and that's where uh, he, he played for everybody there. That was their hangout. And, and, and he, he killed it, you know, he was, I, I'm sure. Do you remember the name of it? Was it Martocci's? Mar Something like that. I don't think it was Martocci, because I would have thought, oh yeah, that's like our friend Martocci, but was it? That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah, and he wound up with like the lounge gig. You know, I mean that was a couple of those on the West Coast, Oh no, Jocko did great. He was he did Vegas. But Jocko made a lifetime career out of it. But I was out there for quite a number of years. They came back and went into public public teaching. School teacher. Now, is he from Buffalo? Yeah. Nice to know Sheila's out there watching and lounging along with us. How are you, Sheila? And then once he got comfortable up there, everyone's talking, no one's paying attention. He goes and eases into this song that nobody's ever heard before. And I picked it up off the video and saying, I never even noticed he was doing it. So I always like to start with it myself. Yeah. This song here? Yeah. I know you know this song. Why? Why shouldn't I? Yeah, you play this. Is that how you know it? Take a chance when romance passes by. I know so many that somebody would hurt for I shouldn't die. No love. Amy's shooting NyQuil and watching. 
That's great. That's the way the old timers used to do it. songs out that I don't think he's played in 50 years and they come out of the nowhere and he just nails them and no one's ever heard of him he just he's got this never-ending supply of songs you've never heard of that you've never even heard him play in the 20 years I've been hearing him play oh yeah <laughs> Then he wouldn't know it. No, no. Jeremy Jackal. People would request his song. Oh, yeah. And he didn't like it. And he, oh, I don't do that. Yeah, he'd say, I don't do it. Yeah. It's smart, though. You know, he told me to do that. He says, he says if you don't do a song, just, just, say, you don't do it. just say you don't do it. Yeah. Don't try to struggle doing something. Yeah. Don't know or struggle with explaining it. Bartenders, remember your drink. It's important. 
important to remember a person's song. It's more important than remembering their name. Right? Now that's something. Jocko never remembered anybody's name. He called everybody Bubby. Oh yeah, I know. But he knew their song. And he still has a great memory. Jack, we're not, we're not, you know, we're talking about Jackie Jocko, and he's, he's, he's still well and enjoying life and playing bingo. Did you talk to him? I have not. I can't. He doesn't answer his phone anymore. He's too busy for us. Sindra and Mary in the park. Sindra was saying she talks to him frequently. So is, is his phone hooked up again? Can you leave him a message? He doesn't have the, it doesn't take messages. Doesn't, oh. And well, it just, leave him, yeah, leave a message. Uh, uh, you know, with him and Joe. You know, the, the recording? Yeah, the happened. classic. I hope I have that uh, answering machine greeting uh, recorded somewhere. I always meant to do it. The one of, this is Joe. This is Jocko. Jocchio. And, and then you'd hear Joe in the back going, and Joe Peters. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> they had that uh, for a tw good 20 years, probably. That. Oh. Yeah, I remember it Does anybody realize how much musical knowledge Joe had? Musical knowledge. Oh, well, man, a lot. Joe Peters. Peters yeah. Yeah. Unusual song that uh, like Alice song. in Wonderland. Like Me too. Yeah, I love Bill Evans. The way oh, he used to play. So cool. yeah. 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 Alice yeah. in Wonderland. <laughs> How do you get?
You get to see some kid wondering, yeah, where does it go? Yeah, I know. Why? I don't and where does it go? Yeah. I mean, we know where it goes. I, I know. It's a you don't know. Where's the moon? And the... Yes, I do. Paul Kokoda. <laughs> Music by Sammy Fain. Oh, where, where yeah. By Bob Hillard. Hilliard. Of course, it was made popular by Bill Sammy Evans Fain. doing, yes, a, Bill Evans did it really doing a jazz well. piano uh, yes, instrumental yes, rendition. Yeah, yeah, this one is what too. Oh man! So now, when you hear Bill Evans do it, you'll know what the words were. Oh yeah, very very good. I think one of them is called. You ever hear that one, Ryan? Oh okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Yeah, they did. Well, Alice in Wonderland. Great yeah, I just heard it right now. And they yeah, it's great, so great stuff. Yeah. Janet's in the room, ladies and gentlemen. She's in Atlanta, listening to Lounge Academy and enjoying a peach cobbler. That's what you do when you're in Atlanta. You have a peach cobbler. Thank you, Janet. It's wonderful having you here with us. And Manya's here, too. And Dave Mendoza. We've got all the big, the big names with us tonight. This one's called All, all My Mananas. How many Mananas have you got? No one knows. Totos. 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 Yeah, I always loved the Disney songs. Totos. Totos. Oh, very good. I didn't know you were multilingual. Well, I took Spanish for nine years. I don't know much, though. I I took uh, Spanish for three years, and it was the same course three times, and I flunked it all three times. I love the English pass. Imagine flunking. This is how bad it was. Imagine flunking Spanish. How do you fail Spanish? It's the easiest language. I know more now, just from you know, just from watching the uh, the debates than I learned in uh, school. So much easier. It's easier to learn things when you're an adult. See, see. Today, I may not have a thing at all. Just a dream or two. I've got lots of plans for tomorrow. All my tomorrow. They belong to you. Right now, it may not seem like spring at all. We're drifting, and the laughs, they're few. It's depressing, isn't it? I've got rainbows planned for tomorrow. All my tomorrows belong to be blue. I 
on some bright tomorrow they come true and all my bright tomorrow This is his kind of song. Yeah. Oh, what a great song. This song sounds written but for even, him. Even, but even Sinatra didn't make it a runaway hit like he used to. Yeah. Teddy yeah. Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn, a couple of ringers, wrote it. Oh, I'd like to say hi to my yeah, designated drinker out there tonight. How are you, yeah. sir? Brian? Hi, Brian. Brian shoots you hello, too. I'm sure you heard that. into each other? Yeah. Out at some of the gin mills? Yeah, gin mills, pride parades, etc. Anywhere it's happening, you'll find Brian. Yeah. Say hi to Megan for us. For sure, I'm gonna love you all the way. All the way.
over no, some no, drinks? No, no, no. Um, Sinatra was good friends with uh, Jimmy Van Dusen. And then I got the library. Look, it was all that too. That was Pill. Yeah. 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 Sammy Kahn and Sinatra were good friends. We could drink some but okay. Sammy Kahn was the yeah. lyricist yeah. for uh, Julie Stein yeah. earlier, yeah. who was a sensational yeah. writer. Yeah, okay. And Sinatra assigned him yeah. to Jimmy Van Dusen, like only he could do, you know? And that's how they that's how they became a team. It's always interesting to get the backstories. Here's a song that's up. Uh, it's about an oxymoron. Yeah. I always like this song. Schwartz and Dietz. Dietz and Schwartz. Dietz and Schwartz. Schwartz and Dietz. Richard Craney. I love that jacket. 
out in Colorado, and our own Jeff Dolina. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Wonderful having you back. Kathy Moses wasn't in it. Could have crushed Nick. Am I blue? Look, everybody left me. No one's at the piano except except Richard and Jeff and Guy. What's new, Peter? How are you, sir? Peter grinds with us. Am I blue? Am I blue? In these tears, in these eyes, telling you. Am I blue? fell through there was a time I was the only one but now I'm the sad and lonely one body and I gave till today Where's Lauren McCall when you need her? out there till today now she's gone and we're through am I at Big Blue It's nice to see Pete's Garage out there. Now the party started. Hey, Gretchen. Am I here? Hi. I'd like to welcome Lounge Cadets Marcy and Kate. Gretchen, this is fantastic. Stick around, everybody. It's going to get real interesting now. People that know their, their music, know their lounge, know a lot of things. Welcome, Marcy, to the Lounge Academy. Wonderful to see you. You look fantastic. Thank you. I told, 
I told him, Mary, it's all plastic surgery. That's why you couldn't Whatever it takes, it's it. worth no, it. Whatever it is, it's worth it. It's tremendous. It's good to know a lot of doctors. Magicians. Must be. I need some of that. Kate Fitzgerald's with us. She's hanging out with Pete's Garage there. Except she's in Arizona. I assume that Kate's in Arizona, that she made it back from her world tour. There's Mary. Kate Fitzgerald says hi to Mary and, and all the lounge cadets. What did Mary make in the big bowl? Ryan, uh, Ryan, what's in the big bowl? Um, Richard out in Colorado wants to know what's in the big bowl. Doritos. Doritos. There's Doritos in there. Big bag of Doritos went in. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Cadets, Donut Cadets, American Motors Cadets. Rich Craney's dad was big executive at American Motors, district manager back in the day. Richard had some beautiful. Romney must have been there at the time. He was the chairman of the board, wasn't he? Yeah, Rich, your dad must have worked for Romney, right? There's a little time delay before he'll be able to hear that question. Yeah, it must have been uh, George Romney. Yeah, George, I can't yeah. hear you. You know everything you know. That was Ben's father. Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was a great guy. Now we can really get started. Yeah, fancy. I don't know if it's a target day for the Courier Express. And tonight he's sporting this amazing jacket with the Courier headlines. And it belonged to their PR person. We were just asking, where did he get from? It came from the Courier He's got the Titanic sinking right in his jacket. And he's wearing a Richard Crane says, yes, he did. He worked for George Romney. George Romney gave him a uh, company car that was a uh, 1970 uh, machine, American Motors machine, all group 19 parts on it. Worth a fortune now. That was his car to visit the dealers. I forgot he was in politics too. I was always so excited that he ran American Motors. 
<laughs> put my hand back in the pocket. <laughs> 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 I get them once in a while. Usually a couple months after they're required. Is this heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine As far as I could tell Suddenly I met you And I dreamed of gay amour Dawn I woke up singing Sentimental overture This heart of mine Dancing gaily now, I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world has taken on a wonderful design. It's life indoors, it's yours, this heart of mine.
again for like the first time all year. Let I me mean, know if it gets a little too chilly. Yeah. 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 If it does, just let me know. I'm trying to gauge it. <laughs> More hot air. <laughs> Moses is in the room, and she brought me. It's a special day, too. I didn't know it was leaking. Her Richard Crane. Enjoy the baseball game. How about a nice big round of applause for Rich Crane out in Colorado. Great lounge to that. Enjoy the game, Rich. No matter what the progress, 
What may it be proved? The simple facts of life as such cannot be removed. You must remember this. This is just a kiss. Size is the size. Fundamental things, they still apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. is about to change from curiosity
I found a thrill to press Nick's cheek to a thrill. Nick's never known. Summertime? Yes. Oh, thanks, Barry. I didn't touch anything. I hope. Uh, Another, uh, another Glenn Miller, if I don't love that one. Why do robins sing in December? Long before the springtime. And so do you. Why do breezes sigh every evening? Whispering your name as they do. And why do I see rainbows? So do I, do you? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jack will always insist it. That was the better song. I, 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 uh, what? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say it. I, 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 I do like it better. It's more of a favor of mine than. Yeah, me too. But he, was, he said that. And he knew what you and I know. Just, he said that was a better song. And that's why they chose it. I loved it in the movie, the way they did it. But they chose it over Atlantis and then put Atlantis in the second. Yeah, it's a great song. Most of Johnny Yeah, it's a fact. And there's a lot of them. I think it's in here. West. Diana Woodruff says hi to everybody from Toronto. Oh, good, Mary. Okay, I got you.
great lyrics, but only Tiny Marshall can come up with. Thank you for your great, great request. Music by Hogan Carmichael. Lyrics by Johnny Mercer. 1941. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> Walmart for my new glasses. I was able to read that small letter. Very, very little difficulty. Thank you. They're just like my old ones. It's the same. It's the same model. But they're new. Yeah, they fit better. The, the script. They're, um, they're, they're buys. I have them specially made for piano, for the way I work. See, they're, they're, the close-up, usually the close-up is for right here, but the, clo the close-up part of them is actually ground for medium. And I have the line, it has a hard line on it, and it's real high up, so I'm not like this. So I'm, I'm like this, but then I could look here and I could see you guys. So they work. They, yeah. Bob Davis is here. Some amazing talent. Some amazing talent. You look, you know, like really proper, and, and then you, you know, the song starts, and the hair comes down, and the glasses come off. <laughs> Or, the, or four of these four. I think I've seen it in there. I don't know. As long as, I, as long as I've ever heard the song. If I've never heard it, it's hard to play it because I don't know where that gets. How about That's a great one. Another one that's so in love. The lady is a trash. That's a nice one. Was that your song? <laughs> I mean, is that the song you play you into the room? I seem to think it was, but no, I just. coming up, some great requests. We got people here that really know their songs. Look at all these requests, ladies and gentlemen. You don't just get a request, you get a whole list when they give you a request. Well, this is a sexy song. I'm glad I got my new glasses for it. Nick's gonna help me with this one. Bésame, bésame mucho Each time I cling to your kiss I hear Nick's music divine Each 
Each time I cling to your kiss, I hear music divine. I'm sentimental, so I walk in the rain. I've got some habits, even Mary can't explain. I'll start for the corner and end up in Spain. Turn up in Spain. See if she finishes my sentences. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and I'll daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go. In the door. 
But why try to change it now? Why can't I be more conventional? People stare, people talk, so I try. That's not for me. Because I can't see my kind of crazy world. Go passing me by. So let people wonder. Let them laugh, let them frown. You know I love you till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember, Susan, I was always your clown. Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me now? You say Coleman. Thanks, Nick. If I've ever heard it before, if I've never heard it before. Darling, 
speak love. Love is a spark lost in the dark. Too soon, too soon. I feel wherever I go. Tomorrow is here. Tomorrow is here. How always too soon. This pure gold and times I feel will wait, darling will wait. The curtains are set, the ends too soon, too soon, darling. I
I'm not as crazy as I seem to be. After all, it's Kathy's birthday.
I understand. I do. Pardon my asking what's new. Vincent Kolb out there with a big cold beer in his hand. Let's explore the great American songbook together. Thanks everybody. Yeah, 
knowing your sadness. We're just working our way through the alphabet. Stick around, we're in the B's. Oh, we got all about it. Next to four. And don't I know it? What a fool and his charms. I'm in love. And don't I know it? Like a babe in arms. Sensation, wait me, I've not slept a wink since this half pint imitation put me on the blink. Looks too far away to kid. I'm wild again. Uber. 
I'm biding my time That's the kind of guy I'm There's no regretting When I'm setting I'm biding my time First one and verse one there I had the craziest dream last night. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. But there you were in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine So I kissed them You didn't mind it at all When I'm away, such a break Never happens How long can a guy go on dreaming There's a chance that you care. And we say you do, my baby. Say it and make my, make my crazy. Gregory Evans out there, sir.
crazy stream. Oh, it's a great song. Dreams are great, aren't they? I wonder if dreams will always be free. <laughs> well, they'll find a way. They'll be, we'll have commercials. Right? They'll start selling like enhanced dreams made by Hollywood. And, and then, you know, it'll be great. But, you know, like everything else, it'll be a catch. Speaking of a catch. We'll have a good room. No room for two rooms. Where every day is a holiday. Anna Carter, you are married to me. Not one a ballroom. I can smoke my pipe away Your wee head on my knee We will thrive on Keep alive on Nothing but kisses With Mr. and Mrs. On a little blue chair Your soul, your true soul Robinson Crusoe, not so far from worldly camps, there's a room, room far away upstairs.
penny in a stream. Falling leaves of sycamore. Sky trails on a mountain side. Snow lights in Vermont. Telegraph cables sing down the highway. In It's a good, yeah, good medley. And <laughs> I'm trying to hear it, and all I'm hearing is blue light in her mouth. Yeah, you're right. No, it's not in this one. That's uh, John Blackburn and Carl Sistorf. Okay. Yeah. Either uh, the lyricist was an influence on Johnny Mercer or vice versa. I'm sure there was a lot of that. The sad thing about these old yellow dog ears, these, they look like they're turning brown, is, it? is I, I bought these new, these old books. Yeah, it's true. And I'm still trying to learn these songs. You're doing a good job. Somebody call James Twist and tell him. I wonder what he's doing right now. It's got to be exciting, whatever it is. We went to high school together. Yeah.
glittering clouds, shimmering clouds. Lounge Academy on WBIJ TV, and that makes you a lounge cadet. Okay, 
Because that's like the. It's one of my favorites, too. I went out to Ken. He's got this big, fancy drink full of umbrellas in front of him, relaxing at home. Nice to see you, Paul. Glad you're checking in from some exciting, dangerous thing you're doing. Whatever that may be tonight. Cow racing, maybe. Where are you tonight, Paul? Are you at the races? This one's for Paul, Paul Cambria. You got to do his requests because. Yeah, you get arrested at three in the morning and you didn't do his song. He'll remember that. Yeah, in jail. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot of work, Paul. You got to cut all those walls open and take all the savings account out of there. So what you're doing? He's getting ready for a move. He bought a new house, Paul Cambria. It wasn't nice enough, the old one he had in Spalding Lake. It is if he says so. He says so. It is. What's going on tonight? Well, that'd be fantastic. All right. I'll do this song for Paul Cameron. Yeah. And, then, and then stick around, Paul, because we got the Jews Brothers coming up to do a little blues. Things like third dimension grow a trifle weary. Rich, Rich, you want to do a blues set? All right, then, then put it on ice for a minute, and you guys go up next. It's so Richie, one of the great harpists, great blues harpists. That's fantastic. I've been hearing the plan since the early 70s. We worked together at Suburban Lanes, and he'd bring his blues band over to practice in the basement of the bowling alley. Then, Rich, Rich, knock it off until you're going to be up next. I want to keep them in suspense. Yeah, we break go go out uh, to the Hyatt. Yeah, yeah, sounds great, but it does. It's an amazing instrument. Those things really tough. That's why they use them in prison. Paul, you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply. As time 
goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. And then you can rely. No matter what the future brings, as time goes by. Brothers coming up to do a uh, featuring Richie. Featuring Richie. With, with Bob Davis on piano. Featuring Richie. Featuring Richie. So you just said a house song that makes us a house party, right? Like our Link Letters house party without our Link Letters, right? Well, it's just like here, the kids say the darnest thing. Richie. G. G, okay.
Howard's house party, calling Howard's house party. Art Winkler is looking for you. Well, it's Nick's going to come up and talk. Right. You can't figure out his nice Richie. Thank you, Maestro. Fantastic. You got to turn this thing off. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got some more big acts coming up. Yeah. Well, finally. <laughs> Wonderful. Are they okay? We love family. Got a lot of signal there. Rap Ulalaski. Plenty, plenty. Uh, maybe. Maybe a little too much. We don't want any feedback. Humming, 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 humming. How's that? Humming, humming. Did you hear me? Humming, humming. Okay. Who was the composer? We're going to do Hamana Hamana. <laughs> this is a song written by one of the great composers of the 20th. 
21st century. Her name is Music and Lyrics by, by the same person. That's Susan Peters. That's her. She wrote this. And it's an amazing tune. Susan. Well, you know, you know, little 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 interesting things come out. She's been a teacher since 1983. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I only have four digit. I only have four numerals in my employee number. That's how far back I go back. Oh my God. Huh? Are they Roman numerals? That's how they name the schools, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> so good that you're ours. It's all right. She just, we're filing this flight plan for this next <laughs> one. This chart is ridiculous. Do you have that in the book on one page? It should be on one page. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let me see what we got. Tell a joke. Five page chart. Tell one of your disgusting joke. Okay, here's one. I don't know if I told it or not. No, don't. Come on. Really? <laughs> but no, I won't tell a dirty tell one. Tell a nice one. I mean, I'm a bartender, you know, you Can't gotta remember. make jokes. She's got some. Blonde gets pulled over by a state trooper. And she and the state trooper's a blonde also. 
So the trooper says to the woman, okay, look it, uh, I need to see your license and registration. So she's like, mm, registration, what's that? And the one, so the trooper's like, well, look at your license, you must have your license. You know, it's got your picture on it. So she starts flipping through all the cards in her wallet, and she comes to a mirror. And she goes, oh, here it is. And she hands it to the trooper, and the trooper goes, oh, why didn't you tell me you were a cop? I would have never pulled you over. <laughs> Thanks for the refill. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, it's like on five stacks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. As opposed to nine pages. Of course, it's microfiche, too. Thank you. Does it have the verse? No. No, we need the verse. Okay, so the verse is here. Yeah. In the first I don't know if we ever played it out of this book. I, I don't know if we did, but we went to the first time. Yeah. There's a roadmap here. Irving Berlin. Oh, wow. Have we ever done it? Thank you. You don't. 
You don't care. No, what do you need to stay in a wheel? Wait, I don't care. As long as it doesn't hurt me. That's in three, four time too. Oh, it's in C. Oh yeah. Now this you is tell me. E flat, and that's in C. Okay. I love it when I've got. Great okay. song. I was on that. Okay. Love okay. oh, that song. What else? Should we do one more? Uh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see. I'd like to say hi to Bernie out there. How about summertime? Summertime. Watching Wounds Academy on WBIG TV. Bernie, what did you get to eat tonight? What did you send out for? How come we didn't get any? Bernie makes me hungry every day on Facebook. We have good tasties here, Larry. We'll save some. Yeah, we sure do. Steaming hot loaf. Songs close to that. Sit figures are, you know, except the one I want. Leave that all of you. Why not take all of me? That's right. I thought that was in there. Definitely right under the A's. Yeah. Good thing I took alphabet in school. Major in it. So I could be a musician. No, I put you off the There we go. Oh, 
page 39. Really You're good at this Dewey Decimal System stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. We never did this one. What kind of tempo would you like? I don't know, did we?
pee individually. <laughs> Peeing is free. Did you hear about the man who went to the doctor? He's like an old man, and the doctor said, hey, what's, what's up? And the, the old man said, I can't pee. And the doctor said, well, how old are you? And the guy said, well, I'm 96. And the doctor said, oh, you're done. You peed enough. <laughs> okay. If only, wouldn't that be nice?
This is a nice song, Susan. I forgot to play it for Pa. This is my new favorite song. Your sweet expressions The smile you gave me The way you looked when When we met It's easy to
Rogers and Hart. Oh, of How could they write so well, many great know, songs? Yeah, I know. What the hell was in the water there? Yeah. They're like, you know, smoking cigarettes and like making all this incredible music. It's why. The changes are just so. No wonder everything's all used up now. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah, yeah everything's all used up. Everything, all the good stuff's all used up. It's really Barbara cool. Fisher's back in the room, ladies and gentlemen. We should do a challenge for you all. Barbara Fisher, and it's one of the favorite songs of Mary. It's impossible to tell the sun to leave the sky. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Ask a baby not to cry, it's just impossible. Can I hold you closer to me and not feel you going through me? Count the seconds. I never think of you or oh, how impossible can the ocean keep from rushing to the shore it's just impossible if I had you could I ever ask for more it's just impossible And tomorrow If you ask me for the world Somehow I'd get it I would sell my very soul And not regret it It breaks me up every time something from Shaft. Yeah. 
secret place Yielding to a soft wind's day To blow away the pain Don't misunderstand some dishes if you clap your hands.
had a crush on you. Lounge cadets all the day and night time. Hear me sigh. I never had the least bit notion that I could fall. Could you coo? Could you care for that cunning cottage we could share? Thank you, Susan Peters. Thank you, Bob. Julius, Julius, that was great. We have a crush on you, too, Howard. Oh, thank we you. We also have a crush on you. It's like we're a super cool thing. Well, it's thank you. I'm glad you were paying great attention to those words. I was slipping in. Great fat edge. I've got you. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I tried so not to give in. Said to myself, self, this affair never will go nowhere. Why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well I've got you under my skin. I sacrifice anything, come what may, it's for the sake of hearing you near, in spite of the warning words. Come in the night and repeat and repeat in my ears. Don't you know, little fool? never can win. Use your mentality. Wake up to reality. But each time I do just the thought of you, stop before it begins. I've got a under my skin. I've got you subcutaneously. Thank you, Bob. Probably is. <laughs> we got bus service. Yes, 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 we do. Thank you, Barbara Fisher. It's a funny thing. Here's another one for Barbara, since she's the only one listening. It's a funny thing. I look at you. I get a thrill. I never knew. Isn't it a pity?
imagine all the lonely years we've wasted. You with the neighbors, I with silly labors. What joy I'm tasting. Somewhere in China, happiest of men, I'm sure to be. If only you would say to me, Isn't it a pity? Thanks, Nick. Howard, what's Dixon. your address on Delaware here? 153. 153, Bob. Let me see if 14202. 1, yeah. Yeah. 1502 height. 14202. Fool that I am. Get a load of this, Barbara Fisher. Nick Moses. We'll be back from the bedroom. <laughs> you want me to accompany you on the piano then? <laughs> you want me to accompany you on the piano then? <laughs> oh, I'll put the sheet for no. You just uh, follow me. That's beautiful. All right. Another song. <laughs> Oh, that I am or falling in love with you. Oh, for thinking. You took my heart and played the part of little Koken and my dreams disappeared like the smoke from a lit cigarette. Oh, that I am for thinking you'd understand, and thinking you would listen to the things we had planned. But we couldn't see eye to eye. So, darling, this is goodbye. But I still care for oh, the Beautiful, Nick. I was in the midst of Peggy Farrell every time I got on the church. She stands with me on the night. Nice job, Nick. I didn't hear any of it. <laughs>
You heard it in the hip drive room, right? I kept flushing, but I still heard it. <laughs> you know, I I was <laughs> Watching Lounge Academy, we call this the we call this part of the show the the end of the show. And uh, Rich Sellers traditionally plays us out with the national anthem, and as we conclude a day of of broadcasting here at WBIG TV. If you're watching this live or as a rerunner, that makes you a lounge cadet. Whether you like it or not. helping us. National anthem. No, keep playing it, Howard. Keep playing it. Oh, song. we can do some.
Richie. Richie Summers, blowing his brains out. Man, we will now uh, conclude the broadcasting at WBIG TV for today with the national anthem. Appreciate the everybody time. get out of bed and stand up. Pretty, uh, Canada? They not afforded so many bars in an evening. They sing O Canada. They close. Yeah. Should we do O Canada first? Do O Canada. No, no. Yes. I don't like O Canada. WBIG, lights out. <laughs> Thank you, Richie. Thank you. Rich Sellers, playing us out. Well, thanks everybody. I'd like to say goodnight to Craig McVitty, our, late, our newest lounge cadet. Better late than never. He's tuning in just in time for the national anthem. We do this every Friday night. We're right here on my Facebook wall. From 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock, Buffalo time on the East Coast. Where we explore 
the great American songbook, the great songs of the early 20th century, along with the lounge cadets. Tonight, Nick. Happy birthday, Kathy. Thank you, Susan Peters. Everybody at home applaud for these great lounge cadets that made tonight so exciting. And full of glamour. Bob's jacket has all the news that's fit to print. Thank you for coming this evening. Have a safe drive home. Put your arms up in the air. When you're going over the skyway, put your hands up in the air. Like it's like you're on the roller coaster. That's what I always do. And say we out with a bonus song here to say goodbye to Bill Jenkins, anybody who's still out there, Barbara Fisher might be, Craig McVitie might be, Fritz Van Levin, possibly. Your eyes, your eyes don't shine. And the thrill is gone when your lips, when they touch mine, I'm afraid the masquerade is over. Wow. 
not the same But my heart says no No, no, no No, you're not the same I'm afraid The masquerade We'll see you next week, same place, same time. Thanks for being a lounge cadet. I will now use the same finger that creates music to destroy music.